Hey friends, welcome to the Leadership Collaborative. My name is Kayla and I help leaders improve and find success each and every day. So today's topic is all about the Sunday scaries and how to deal with that and feel organized for the week. So have you ever had the Sunday scaries where it's like Sunday afternoon, all of a sudden you stop and think, oh my gosh, I have to go to work tomorrow. and your mind starts racing and thinking about all the things that you have to do tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all the projects, all the backlog. Maybe you're thinking about your email as well. Like, why does this happen to us? For me, I feel like the Sunday scaries start to hit in when I feel like my to-do list or my project list seems really, really long. And maybe I'm not sure exactly what I need to do for the week, but it just feels like it's never ending. And it's this constant worry about, ugh, Tomorrow I have so much going on. So I find that creating space for everything that's going on in my mind and putting it down on paper or somewhere really helps my Sunday scaries dissipate. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my method using my big post-it note and how I actually use visual management to help calm the Sunday scaries so I actually know what's going on. I ask myself, what do I know for sure? And I can let go of all that anxiety and just work on something fun like hanging out with my family or doing a passion project like watercolors. So let's get down to it. I'm just showing you how I create my visual management board for my projects. So across the top, I write plan, do, and done. And I write project number one on a post-it note, of course, or a sticky note. You write whatever projects you have. That's project number two under do, project number three under done. And I'm going to put one more project on here. And now I'm going to tell you exactly how to use this board now that I have it set up. All right, so now that I have the board set up, I just want to talk through the workflow a little bit and show you a side-by-side -side of a graphic I created that you can use and download for free in the description to check out this method and use it with your teams as well. So we have three categories. We have the plan, do, and done. So this is a version of my, um, my own creation, concoction, experiment, of what is actually called PDCA or plan, do, check, act. And I actually just like to oversimplify it and make it plan, do, done, because honestly, most of my work is planning and getting ready to do the thing. And then doing means I'm actually spending dedicated time on my calendar, working on implementation or other things that need to happen to bring the project to fruition. And then done really means like I'm done with the meat of the work Maybe I'm still auditing the project or trying to make it sustainable, but otherwise like I'm not creating for the project anymore. And then once I'm not auditing or monitoring the project anymore, or I feel like it's going well and I don't have to have my eyes or thoughts on it all the time, I just take it right off and it's gone. And I still celebrate it. I keep a log of my projects and a quality management report that I have, but I don't need to have them on my active visual management board. Honestly, what this is, is it is meant to help you visualize all the work you have and get it out of your head and also know where it's at in the process. So for example, I have two projects that I have in the do section. That means I'm actively spending time during my days working on those things. I'm also spending mental energy, maybe a little bit of physical energy, planning for one of my projects and the other project is done and I can feel really good about that, keep a little bit of an eye on it and make sure that it's going well, but then it's gonna move off the list. So I have a lot going even though there's only four projects. If you start to see the middle section, the do section start to like fill up and you've got a lot going and you seem to be, you feel spread too thin, it probably means you are. And maybe that means moving one of your projects back to the plan stage where you release some of that mental energy and guilt that you might be feeling over not completing that project or not moving it um, as, as quickly along as you'd like to. And just, you know, working on the other things that are in the do category and getting those all done before you keep going and adding more and more to your plate. Um, this also works really well when there's added extra work you didn't plan on or what I like to call unplanned work like an urgent and important project that comes along that you know you need to get done today or this week or in a time frame. And maybe that means something else that you maybe have inserted fully or maybe isn't as urgent or important moves back to the plan. So it's a really way to know like, you know, is this work a reflection of how I'm feeling? And if I feel overwhelmed, is it because I have too much work in progress in the do section? And if I'm not feeling as busy, what are the things I can do to take from 
my plan side and actually move them into the do and start working on it. It's a great tool that's really a reality check to say, what do I know for sure? What's actually going on? Do I really have a lot going on? If the answer is yes, maybe I need help prioritizing that work because if you're feeling guilty and spread too thin and you're not sure how to move projects around, it's a great opportunity to ask your boss or a peer or another leader that maybe you're working on a project for, like, hey, how urgent or important is this? Um, you know, is this in front or behind, you know, this item in order of importance? And start getting curious and asking those questions. I find more often than not, um, you can be really, people can be really flexible when they realize, like, how much work you've got on your plate. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope this helps you just dissipate all your Sunday scaries, know for sure what's going on, and just feel like you can relax and enjoy your Sunday without worrying and having anxiety and being up all night, just thinking about all your to-dos because you know exactly where you're at and what you're gonna do when you come into the office on Monday. If this is helpful, please give the video a like, maybe share the link to this video with a friend who could use this advice, and hit subscribe so you never miss a moment from me. All right guys, have a wonderful day.